Diet Weight Loss Health Skin Care Tips and Tricks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. How to make a saline solution at home. Method 1 In the microwave. 1. Purchase either regular table salt or sea salt. Do not buy fancy, scented, colored, or flavored salts. The salt needs to be as pure as possible. Make sure it's iodine free and lacks preservatives if it's anything but salt it could irritate your skin slash nasal lining slash whatever you're using it for 2. put a half teaspoon 2.5 g of salt into a cup you want to mimic the concentration of salt or tears by creating a normal the actual term solution that's 0.9 percent saline one half teaspoon is about right for fine table salt but not for coarse sea salt where the volume needed to obtain 2.5 g can be up to twice that of fine salt one for kids stay on the less salty side for adults a bit saltier is okay but just a bit if you like some recipes say to add one half a teaspoon or so of baking soda too however a normal solution doesn't need it this is for eight ounces of water if you're using more water use more salt 3 add 8 ounces 1 cup of hot water and stir well zap it in the microwave for a minute or so set it in your kettle or otherwise somehow get it to a point where it's hot but not boiling you will need to run the microwave significantly longer than one minute to ensure sterility using a covered pyrex pole works more quickly but the top may become displaced by buildup of steam if heating is prolonged grab a spoon and help it dissolve Make sure it's stirred well. If it's cloudy or dirty, throw it out. If you want to be extra careful, use distilled water, or water that has actually reached a boil. This makes sure everything is sterile and hygienic. 4. Depending on your situation either cleanse, submerge, or gargle the saline solution. But make sure not to swallow it. For the record, it's not intended for open wounds, either. For piercings, do not submerge in water. Cleanse the area only, as the saline solution can leave the surrounding areas quite dry. Speak to a licensed professional for the best way to care for your new piercing. For nail infections or other skin-related infections, not open wounds, submerge the appendage in the saline four times a day. This method can take days to weeks to work, see a medical professional before it spreads, and if you see a red line traveling up your appendage go to the ER. For a sore throat gargle morning and night, do not ingest the solution, no doing so by mistake will not harm you. If the sore throat persists after two days see a doctor. Method 2. On the stove. 1. Place one cup of water and one half teaspoon of salt into a pan. That's eight ounces of water and about 2.5 grams of salt. Make sure the salt is iodide free and lacks preservatives, coloring, scent or any other fancy stuff that's unnecessary 2. bring to a boil for 15 minutes place the lid on from the start if you do not use a lid too much of the water will boil away and the solution will be too salty set the timer and walk away if you need to prep something else at this juncture like a needy pot or jar do so now 3. Use your solution. The most common use for saline solution is to clear the sinuses, help a sore throat or to rinse contact lenses. Just make sure it's safe and appropriate for whatever means you want to use it for. If you're gargling it, wait for it to cool down a tad so it doesn't burn your throat it should be very warm, not searingly hot. Same goes for using it in your nasal passage may or on your skin you don't want to exacerbate your problem 4 pour the rest into a sterile jar bottle or cup if you have extras that is make sure your container is sterile to ensure the solution stays effective you can be sure it is by boiling it too diet weight loss health skin care tips and tricks thanks for watching do not forget to like share subscribe please